Hello and welcome to my first tutorial here on Geardown FS. My name is Mike and today I will be talking about an amazing tool for Flight Simulator called FS Recorder. Now what is FS Recorder? FS Recorder basically records your plane. With record, I don't mean visual recording, I mean data recording. It's much like a black box, it saves all the aircraft's state data over the duration of the recording. This can then be played back within the simulator. Uh, but enough of the talk, let me show you how it works. Uh, before I show you how it works in FSX, I'll show you where you can get it and how to install it. Um, so this is the FS Recorder website, fs-recorder.net, and you go to Downloads, and you download FS Recorder for FS2004 or FSX. The newest version is always marked with a bold font, like here and here. Um, I already downloaded so I won't re-download it. I already got it prepared. Um, this is the file that you will get. You just open it and you will see four files. Manual, README, a DLL, and the setup MSI. Now what you do is you extract them and just you know drag them over here. Now they're in here. Um, you know, the manual and the readme are just general documentation. Um, the setup MSI is an inst automated installation process will pl which will place this file into your modules folder and also it will add um, an entry in your dll.xml file which manages your add-ons for the sim. Um, you could also do it manually and it's also described in the manual how to do it manually but there's kind of no point if you have an automated installation process so um, yeah, uh, I'm just going to start that and next, yes, I accept, seems good, next install. And as it installs, you, you know, you can sit back, watch some other gear down FS tutorials or something, you know, or just browse around the internet or do whatever you want. Um, when it's done, I'm going to start up the simulator and show you how it works and, in, and we'll go over it in FSX itself. So uh, I will see you in a few seconds. So as you can see here, um, we have the dialogue for the flight recording and uh, here you can set your recording interval uh, the smaller it is the more intervals obviously you will have in your recording that means the data will update a lot more than if you had like every two seconds so that's I, I prefer the most accurate data for my recording so yeah um, you can auto stop the recording at a specific amount of time after a specific um, event, uh, after touchdown, after engine shutdown, or after the start of the recording. Um, I never do that personally, but you know, it might come in handy. And you can also record AI traffic. Um, and it only can record a certain amount of traffic because if it would record more than you know it would be a bit laggy and all that kind of stuff especially on uh, low-end computers so um, it's set to a specific amount you can you can change that but uh, I never use that either so yeah that was the recording uh, dialogue if you click OK, there's nothing gonna, there's not gonna be anything else. It's just gonna uh, start recording right away. So let's click OK. So I will record this takeoff of a Mooney at uh, Skylark Field in Killeen, Texas, for you, just real quick, and I will show you how you can replay it in FS Recorder. There are two ways to replay it, normally and as traffic. Now, normal means that the that you are sitting in the plane and the plane does what you recorded 
and you do not have to interfere anymore. You just you don't have to control anything. You're just sitting in there. Um, this is great for like uh, you know if you want to be a first officer or something. Um, then you can also replay it as traffic, and that means that you, your and your plane are there, and the recording is AI tra kind of AI traffic. It's not the, like AI because you've flown it and you're not artificial intelligence, but in general, it gr generates AI from that. Um, from that recording and so you can use that uh, to make some AI for maybe some videos or whatever you want to do. So as you can see it's a great tool for improving your flight simulator skills whether it's ILS approach, landing, takeoff, whatever you want. You just do it, you record it, you replay it afterwards and you can learn from your mistakes. You can also make great great videos with it because you don't have to worry about flying you just record your flight and then you do the whole recording with the camera angles afterwards like in this particular example This was the best recorder tutorial here on Geardown FS. Thank you for watching and keep your eyes open for our part two. There will be a part two because I wasn't able to cover everything in this one video. Um, my name is Mike here on Geardown FS. Thank you for watching again from my side and see you next time.